Use this glitchy play to go ahead and find the scene down the middle of the field for big gainers. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I was in a lab uh, breaking down um, uh, an offensive scheme for the, the, for the Raiders out of the single back doubles, and I started labbing this particular play and I realized how fluky one of the routes are in this play. It actually will break down um, most of the most popular coverage shells in the game, whether it's uh, basically uh, a man coverage or if it's cover two or cover three. You're going to get 25, uh, 30 yards or more, and you can go house with this route. Uh, the only defense that, that is pretty, pretty consistent in shutting you down would be a, a cover four drop, but not everybody runs a cover four drop, so this is definitely a good play that you can go ahead and throw in, especially when you need 25 or 30 yards. You're in a third and long situation. You can run it, you can run this play against your opponent. It's going to catch him off guard, and it can be very annoying to stop. So once again, it's out of single back doubles out of the, Ra the, the Raiders playbook. And the play we'll be, we're going to look at is going to be a play action Y sale. Play action Y sale. Now I'm going to run this against cover two and cover three to just show you how this works and why this is so effective. Uh, it just always gets separation. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to block our running backs right here. And uh, we're going to look high low off the left hand side. But what's going to happen is you're going to get this opportunity for these huge plays down the middle of the field. Now, you're going to not run into a lot of people that run these type of shells, but uh, when I was labbing this figure to play, I'm finding as long as I didn't get any kind of block sheds, what's going to happen is that out and up, he gets separation against that cover two shell where you actually can go ahead and just get a nice big catch over the middle, and you're not going to have any kind of a zone that's going to be over there for you. So let's see if we can get it once again. Hopefully the line holds. It does. And right here, we're just going to go ahead and get a nice little catch right there with Jordy. Now, Jordy is a good, uh, uh, is one uh, a borderline and, um, a elite wide receiver, so you definitely want to have a very good wide receiver. But uh, really what you're going to do is you're just going to wait for him as his out and up, and the, the defender that's following him, is not going to be there to actually go and follow him. So watch uh, how this coverage sets up, out, out, up. And we're just going to go ahead and just high ball the ball and then aggressive catch. And he's always going to be in front of that safety to get that good play. So you're playing Mutt, you're playing draft champions where you have an elite wide receiver. See how the guys, they just, they stop going after him. And this is going to allow you to go ahead and throw that ball right there to get a big completion. Now, what's cool about this play, too, is that you can actually drop it down to the lower wide receiver, too, so you got a high-low type of read. So this play, I don't really have to focus on the right-hand side of the field. If I wanted to, I can block all my wide receivers right here. Maybe I can drag up my, my one receiver to give me, uh, give me a, a read, but uh, what's going to happen is now um, I've got an opportunity that I can actually attack them down the seam with that cover too. So it's just another way that you can attack them. Um, I like to have a corner out on the back end side, but let's go and see if we can get that, that lead. Right here, this is uh, basically a hard shell. And right there, I'm just aggressive catching it, and I'm picking up 25 yards right there. Now with cover three, if you get a single high safety, this is where things get really juicy. What you're going to do is with the with the wide receiver Nelson off the right hand side, you're going to do an inside pass lead. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait for him to do his little cut out and up. Now you get rid of the ball and do a aggressive catch or a possession catch, and you just cut the ball off. Uh, just like um, uh, some of the passing techniques in previous Maddens where they actually just go ahead and cut the ball off. You do the same thing with this. Uh, I actually went ahead and passed lead a little bit too far. It should have been up a little bit more, and that's why that ball got in the middle of the field. Uh, but uh, let's just go ahead and watch this in action again. And a lot of times you're going to get that one-on-one -on -one coverage, so it's going to give you an opportunity to get the ball down in the middle of the field. We're going to try possession catching it right now uh, just so we can get a more of a consistent catch. So get away from the aggressive. And you can see right here, I'm going to come down with the ball, and I'm picking up 25 yards on that. Now, what's cool about this play, too, is that you've got a check down low that you actually can throw the ball to and get a pick up an easy five or six yards. So you can set your opponent up for um, a basically, you can set them up uh, to go ahead and hit that big play. So if they start cheating to come down, they're playing a middle, a middle safety. You can go ahead and just pop them with the underneath route, and then all of a sudden you can pop them up top. 
And let's see if we get that right over the middle right there. I picked up a good 30 yards right there, and I could have went house with it. So let's take a look at this against cover four. This is where this, this particular uh, play actually uh, has a weakness. Now, uh, with cover four, if it's a cover four drop, Nelson's route is going to get bottled up. So let's go ahead and see if we get that. No, we actually got, well, you can see he's actually got two guys right there to make a play for it. And it actually was more matching than anything else. But cover four drop will actually go ahead and get a guy that drops down here. Okay, this is a cover four drop. Look how there's a defender up top right there. You can get, you can might be able to squeeze that ball in there, but it doesn't. You, you don't want to throw it when you got two defenders in the area. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover four, uh, this is not going to be probably a good play to do that. Uh, do that. So even though I squeeze it in, it's not going to be uh, a cover four play, a beater. That's not something you want to do against your opponent because it's just not going to work that well. And even if you try to check it down with cover four of those defenders. So I would say if you got a guy that's running a lot of cover four, this is not a play to go and jump into. You probably want to jump into other cover four beaters that you know of. So once again, guys, if you do like these tips, make sure you hit the like button. And I'll be rolling out uh, on my Patreon channel. Um, a, uh, a play uh, offensive scheme out of the Raiders, gun doubles offset, and the Raiders single back doubles, and it's going to be showing uh, basically this play and a couple other plays that I'll be utilizing in, a, in, a, in an eight play, a ten play uh, scheme that I'll be using in Draft Champions. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys, and until next time.